Howdy do, Super Shotic Nation. We've got another Monster Energy Drink review. Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. Can't wait for this one. But I'm going to level with you, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I have actually had this several times. And it is by far one of my favorite Monster Ultras, okay? I really love this flavor. And something that blew my mind just before I hit record today was... When I googled what the flavor was, we'll get there in just a second, okay? So, my first couple of times that I have drank this, because I was actually going to do a video a couple months ago, just never got around to it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to bring it to work and drink it that day, and I loved it, wished I would have done a, a honest review to begin with, but this is another honest review, even though I've had it several times. Like I said, this is one of my favorite flavors of Monster Ultra. And when I first had it, it tasted like a sour candy to me. See, and then in my, my mind, I'm like, what kind of a flavor am I trying to think of here? Like, what exactly is this flavor? Because it doesn't really say what it is. It just says Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. Obviously, it's got some artwork on it. Uh, it's pink. It's blue. Looks like a, it could be a sour gummy worm if you think of the pink and blue sour gummy worms. Um, this is what Monster says. We're always dreaming up new things at Monster, and sometimes we totally break convention. Enter Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. It may be the best tasting Ultra yet. I agree. I agree with that one. Not too sweet, not too tart. It's got a fresh citrus taste that'll blow your mind, while it's light and super easy drinking. It's serious on performance. Ultra Fantasy is packed with all the legendary Monster Energy blend you've come to expect. We called on longtime friend Pinky Taylor for design. I'm not sure who Pinky Taylor is, so you OG fans, don't come at me. OG fans might remember seeing him doing live paintings at monster events as they rolled through town. Oh, so the art makes sense now. We've got his painted surfboards and canvases hanging all over HQ. Now you've got your own Pinky Masterpiece too. Unleash the Ultra Beast. So on here... <laughs> It doesn't say anything about what the flavor is. So when I first drank it, I literally thought it was cherry. I thought it was like, like a sour cherry candy. And in the 90s or early 2000s, I remember there was a candy. And for some reason, whenever I freaking Google it, nothing comes up. It was called like cherry bomb, like cherry bomb candy, sour cherry bomb candy. I can't find anything. All I'm finding is sour cherry candies and some older stuff that I don't even remember the packaging of. And then I was thinking, maybe this kind of tastes like Slice. You guys remember Slice Soda? And I was, like, I was very conflicted these past few, few times that I've been drinking the Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. And then I Googled it. And what we're going to do... <laughs> Tasted nothing like what people are saying it is. So here we go. I'm going to tell you in a second. Over the lips, past the gums, look out stomach, here she comes. The flavor that people say it is, is grapefruit. It does not taste like grapefruit to me. I'm not big on grapefruit. I've never liked grapefruit, like sodas, like squirt or uh, whatever else, whatever other grapefruit sodas they have out there. But this, it tastes like a cherry bomb to me. It tastes like a sour cherry candy. I don't know if that's just my taste buds going nuts, but the thing is, that's what I think it tastes like. I don't think it tastes like grapefruit. If anything, it might taste like a um, like a sweet pineapple. Um, but yeah, what about this can would make you think that it's um, grapefruit? I don't know. I guess I really don't look at grapefruits that often. Let me Google what a grapefruit looks like. 
Because like I said, I don't really like grapefruit. I think they are disgusting. They are super um, tart to me. And uh, yeah, I just don't like them. But let me look up a grapefruit. Yeah, see, look, it, grapefruits look like an orange. And even that's like a darker red. So, I don't know, maybe that part would give it away. But honestly, well, I guess even for a cherry, like, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be pink. Hell, I don't know, like, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, don't they ha already have, no, that, that's the gold, that's the, that's pineapple. And I didn't like the ultra gold. Uh, well, maybe it is, maybe it is pineapple. Or, not pineapple, maybe it is grapefruit. Let's see what it, what the color looks like. <coughs> When squeezed, does grapefruit juice look like that? Man, I'm really showing my ass here today in this video. <laughs> if it is really grapefruit, um, that, well, I don't know what to say. I guess I like grapefruit monster, but I don't really like grapefruit soda or grapefruits in general. It's like Pepto Bismol with fizz. <laughs> Well, now I'm very conflicted. I'm still gonna drink that because I think it tastes like sour, like sour candy to me. <clears throat> I guess that's just a hill I'm gonna have to die on. That Monster Energy Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red is is cherry. But now, now my mind, ever since I saw what flavor it was, it's like you dummy. It's freaking grapefruit. So, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I just do these videos for fun. Like I've said in previous videos, I just do these for fun. See what uh, the Super Shock Nation has to say about these kind of drinks. But, yeah, that's what I first thought when I first tried it. And the first couple of times, I was like, this kind of tastes like a cherry bomb. It tastes like a sour cherry candy. And I'm like, what is the actual flavor? And I Googled it before I recorded. It's grapefruit, and now my mind's like, it's grapefruit. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be bouncing off the walls the rest of the evening. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Monster Energy is. <clears throat> Personally, I like the White Ultras. That's my favorite one. And then I'll have the original, but I don't veer off the beaten path too far. I go with zero sugar most of the time and um, it's mo and most of the time it's just the ultras and the watermelon one. The watermelon one is awesome. So my top three would have to be um, ultra white, watermelon, and the ruby red. That's my top three ultras. And of course I I just like the original monster in general. Zero sugar and original. So anyway, guys, the train is about ready to roll off the tracks. So hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, it's been my pleasure. Peace. <coughs> I'm out of here. E yummy. All right, so I just got done filming the ultra ruby red and um, just wanted to say the aftertaste is starting to really tell me that it's grapefruit unfortunately unfortunately super shonic has been bested by the flavors of monster um i honestly thought it was cherry but now i did a little bit of research and apparently there's one called ultra black that I'm gonna have to try, which is black cherry. So if I thought that the grapefruit tasted like black cherry, I can only imagine what the black cherry would taste like because the more that I'm just sitting here, I haven't had a drink of anything else. Like, yeah, it tastes like freaking grapefruit. It's got that weird citrusy, I don't know. Grapefruit has a weird aftertaste, honestly. So yeah, that's, 
I mean, it's still one of my favorite flavors, but now that I know it's grapefruit, <laughs> who knows how often I'll be drinking it. Anyway, I, I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. And then, uh, as always, you guys have a bodacious day, and I'll see you again real soon. Peace! I'm out of here! Again!